Okay, so what you need to do, the first step to um, find the past study for your introduction section is to go to Google, just normal Google search, and then type in Google Scholar. Okay, click enter, and then click the first option that comes up. It should be scholar.google.com. And then you'll have another kind of Google looking uh, search engine thing that comes up, but this is a search engine for journal articles. So, um, you know, when you start university, you're going to be, most of your research will be done not through online websites, but through looking at journal articles. And so that's why this logbook, we also expect you to find a past study, not from the internet, like a random website, but from an actual research study that someone has published a paper for. Okay. Um, so all we need to do is just, we need to just jot down some of our keywords. So any of the keywords that we're defining in our introduction or any of the keywords that you think are relevant to this study, we can just start typing them up. So I'm going to put in person perception. I'm going to put in psychology. Um, I'm going to put in maybe physical appearance. Okay, I think that's probably the main ones. And then we click enter. And then you'll see that you get a bunch of different um, papers that come up. You don't need to worry about the year. Uh, we're not too focused on that. But yeah, just have a quick read through the, like, the titles of the papers. And then just see which one seems the most relevant or which one seems the most. You can even click into them. For example, the second one, if we click into that, where does it take us? It takes us into like this journal kind of article page. And then you've got something called an abstract. You're not asked to read the whole paper. Just read the abstract and see if it kind of more or less um, summarizes similar things to what our study is about. Okay, it doesn't have to be the same. As long as the study talks about person perception, talks about how others judge people based on how they look um, and personality, then that would be fine, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly the same as our study with the questionnaire and everything that we did, but as long as it's similar, then it should be fine. This study, for example, looks at baby face overgeneralization effect. So baby face meaning that it says uh, undergraduates were shown a photograph and had to rate it on a series of tendencies, including how honest the person was, how truthful the person was, their strength, dominance, intelligence, naivety, and warmth. Okay, and all the people in the photographs had baby faces. Okay, we generally in society tend to associate baby faces with more innocence and more positive characteristics. And you can see here, baby faced individuals were perceived as the most truthful. Okay, and I don't know, children as the most deceitful. We don't know what the study was fully about, but yeah, that's the basic idea there. So um, this is something similar to what we're looking at, similar in the sense that we're showing people photos of individuals and we're getting them to rate them in terms of their personality. Okay, that's the basic similarity there. So this is one example of a study that seems like it's kind of similar to what we are currently doing. And you can see that um, that is the title of the study. Okay, now, how do you cite a study? You don't have to create your APA reference from scratch. There's a really shortcut, easy way to do it. See how you've got the title here. Let's say that, okay, I've decided, um, let's say that I've decided, I've read the abstract of this study and I've decided that this study is relevant or it is similar to um, our current study that we did as a class with the experiment and the different questions. Okay, let's say that it's similar and that it's relevant and this is the one I've picked. What I can now do is I can actually just click on, see this quotation mark here, this double quotation mark, click that, and then it'll start bringing up some stuff. And then look at these different um, titles. You've got MLA, APA, Chicago, Harvard, and Vancouver. These are different types of referencing styles. In psychology, we generally use APA. So all you do is you copy this and paste it into your references section. And that's your reference for this past study done. As with the Adrolo textbook reference, we will give you that to you. Okay, so you will be able to copy paste that directly as well. So you don't really have to do any references up from scratch. Even at university, um, there are a lot of shortcuts and automatic reference generators that make your life easier. So this is basically how you would, you would just copy and then you would paste that into your logbook or paste that into your reference section um, on the actual SAC day of the poster. Okay, so that's the basic idea. So I'll show you that again. Let's say I've decided this is my best study that I want to um, talk about. I again just click on it, I read it, I see if it's more or less on the same track or similar track as the current study. I go back, click the double quotation marks, choose the one that says APA, not the others, the others are not our psychology formatting, we want the American Psychological Association formatting, APA. Click that, that will select, control C, copy, and then paste that into your references section at the end, okay? That is how you do a 
reference for a paper. Okay. Yes, exactly. Um, no, in in-text citation, it's a little bit different. Okay, I'll show you how to do an in-text citation. In in-text citation, we've got the full reference, yeah? In the full reference, you've got the names of the authors, the surnames, I mean. So Masip, Garrido, and Herrero. These are the three surnames, and the initials are the first names. So this could be Jason Masip, um, Edward Garrido, and I don't know, uh, can't think of a word starting, name starting with the letter C, but you get the idea. The initials are the first names and the last names are given in full. Okay, so these are, and this is the year the data, the data or the um, paper was published, 2004. Facial effects, blah, blah, the effects of facial babiness and person perception. That's the title of the paper. International Journal of Psychology is the journal or the publication in which this paper was published. Okay, think of it like a big magazine where you've got different, um, you know, papers being published in. 39.4 is the volume number and the issue number and 276 to 289 are the page numbers. So basically that tells us that this paper is about 13 pages long. Okay, we're not reading the full paper anyway, but that's the, that's each part of that reference broken down for you. Now, this is the full reference that we put at the end of the poster on that full reference list, similar to your bibliography that you've done, okay, um, in previous year levels. If we're going to write an in-text reference for this, it's not too confusing. All you need to do is, um, if I'm writing, if I'm quoting something like, okay, uh, one past study that looked at a similar topic of uh, physical appearance and person perception was, oh, sorry, involved presenting participants with baby faces and judging and asking them to make a social judgment okay and then we can quote the person so we can say m-a-s-i-p massive garrido and herrera okay and then we just put a comma and write 2004 and that's it that's the in-text reference Okay, just the three surnames of the people who did the study, comma, the year. You don't need to include any page numbers or anything, just that's about it. That's the in-text reference. You only get one mark for the in-text reference because the only in-text reference we're asking you to do is for the study that you quote. So this is the one in-text reference. This will get you the one mark on your criteria sheet. Okay, so the in-text reference is just the three surnames and the year that's um, given there. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Um, so I'll just show you another example of another similar one. So let me just clear all the drawings. Okay, close this. So let's say that, okay, I don't want to do study number two. Let's say I'm going further down and looking at um, even something like this, radiating beauty, effects of having a physically attractive partner on person perception. So sometimes we judge people um, based on the partner that they have that, you know, um, or oh, their partner has tattoos or, you know, their partner does this or their, their partner, um, you know, gives off a very aggressive vibe. So we sometimes make judgments of personality, not just on the individual themselves, but even on the people that they're with or based on the people that they're with. So this could be another relevant study you might want to include. Okay, you've even got others down here. There are a lot of relevant ones here, but just for another example, if I say that, okay, this is a relevant study that I want to talk about, um, the first thing that I would need to do before I choose that is click on that thing, click on the title, and then read the um, abstract. You can see the abstract is just a few lines there that gives you a summary of the entire study. Read that, and then if you think that's relevant, you go back and you click that double quotation mark select and copy and paste the, um, the reference that's next to APA. That's the one we need. And if I'm going to be quoting this in my introduction, how I would quote this is again, just use the surnames. So one past study that was conducted and I'm just gonna write blah, 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 blah. And at the end of that sentence, I would say Siegel and Landy 1973. And where did I get the and from the and symbol? The and symbol is given in your, sorry, whoops. The and symbol is given in your um, reference itself. So that's basically where I got the and symbol um, from. Okay, if you've got two people that are doing a study, usually they use the abbreviation and rather than the word and, okay? That's for APA. For other referencing styles, you can see that's different. 
Okay, um, that's that's the basic idea. So you give that one um, full reference in your end of uh, poster reference list and you give the in-text reference with the surname and the year only in your introduction within your actual paragraph of writing that you do. Um, so I think, yeah, that should be clear enough. So I'm just going to stop the recording here. <laughs>